One, two, three, four, maybe. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Avina, and today we're going to be doing this cute bunny makeup look inspired by these cases kindly gifted to me by Caseify. They sent me three types of cases the impact case, the ultra impact case, and also the mirror case. It came in this cute gift box, and I did end up using the ribbon in my look. If you're interested on how I achieved this makeup look, keep on watching. I already went in with skincare and I'm wearing the Hapa Kirsten one and only contacts. Make sure for this makeup look you want to wear like enlarging contacts, it just adds to the effect. Using the M Cosmetics Cushion Grab product and then even it out. It's like a little more even. I'm gonna focus it like on the center of my face. Use my Kosas concealer. Apply it on areas where I need a little more coverage. I'm gonna let the concealer under my eyes dry for a minute before I blend it out. But for the rest, I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out first. Before setting my base, I'm going to directly go in with blush. I'm going to place it like in the center of my cheeks for the cuter effect. God. Oh, I look a little crazy right now, but don't worry about it. We'll blend it out. Set my concealer with the Laura Mercier powder. I'm gonna go ahead and blend out the blush a little bit. Dusting the excess off. And I'm going to lightly contour my face. This is the eye look we're going for. If you can see the difference, it really opened up my eyes and made it kind of bigger and cuter. And that's the look we're looking for. I'm gonna start off by evening the concealer on my lids. I'm gonna go in with these two shades from the Roman palette and just put it all over my lid. Also bring it under my eyes as well. Then going with this shade right here, I'm going to put it just under it right here. Give it some dimension. Using the same shade, I'm going to sketch out my Ikeosar. We're gonna smile. And then I'm also going to go in with this this Ikeosar pen by Kenmi. This product is like meant for like your Ikeosar and drawing it because it's like, it's a little more sheer and it's perfect for it. Now using this darker brown shade, I'm going to sketch out my wing. For the wing, I'm going for a more like straight downturn type of wing. So I'm going to just sketch that out before I use a gel eyeliner to darken it. I'm going to use this white gel eyeliner from NYX just to slightly brighten or like fill in my ego star so the glitter shows more you don't want it to like completely fill it with white but you just want to put enough so it's like a sticky base for your glitter to sit on i'm gonna also go in with this shade again and kind of outline a half cut crease but I just want to darken it so it makes my eyes look a little more round. Like this. Just like where your eye is hollow. I'm going to blend it out a little bit. I'm 
use this shade from the Roman palette. It's like really, really pretty. Can you see it? I'm gonna apply the glitter stopping at the middle of my eyes. I'm also gonna go over where I darkened the crease earlier. Using this creamy touch liner from Can Make, I am going to darken or go over my shadow liner. I'm gonna use this thin eyebrow brush to kind of blend it and make it even. Using the same liner, I'm gonna draw the bottom line. I'm starting at the center of my pupil and ending right at the corner of my eyes. Going back to the Ego Star liner, I'm just going to draw a few fake lashes. Make sure you curl your lashes really well so they can stay curled. I'm just going to pulse it at the base going up so we could get that C curl. As you pulse up, you want to pulse like left and right too. So you gather or grab all your lashes. This is my lashes. Oh yeah, and then for my bottom lashes, you want to curl it too. But I'm only going to curl like the front portion. You're just going to flip your curler upside down and curl it how you would your top lashes, except it's going to be your bottom lashes. I'm going to use the Hair and Make Long Curl Mascara Advanced Film. This one is my favorite mascara. And I'm going to saturate and make sure my lashes are fully coated. I'm putting a lot of product on my lashes so I could clump them into sections later, like the Manhua lashes. Like that. And for the bottom lashes, I'm only going to put mascara on the front portion. But now I'm going to clump my lashes. I'm going to use these fake bottom lashes. And I'm going to put it like on the outer corner right here. I'm going to brush on my lash glue and then apply it where I drew the bottom liner. Now, I'm just going to blend it a little bit with mascara. I'm going to be using these individual spikes. I'm going to put a blob of like glue on the pan like this. And then we're just going to... We're going to grab a lash and scoop a little bit of glue and then I'm going to put it under my lashes. Yeah, I'm going to do 9, 10, 12, 12. I'm just following where I clump my lashes. And I'm just going to add another spike. Okay, this is how it looks. I'm going to also put a little bit of blush on the tip of my nose as if I'm like contouring my nose. Use this Roma lip tint in Custard Mauve. I'm putting the tint all over my lips and then blending the edges out. Then this Juicy Dewy tint from Daisy. Putting this on the center. I use a little bit of gloss from Kaja. And 
that concludes my tutorial. If you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. And if you like me, make sure to follow all of my social media linked in the description box. If you would like to purchase any of these protective cases from Casetify, I also have a discount link for you guys in the description box. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!